Today, we are talking all things loot progression. Now, we've got a lot of information to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. In Alpha 19, Seven Days to Die introduced a brand new loot progression system. Now, in a previous video, I had mentioned that I wasn't exactly sure how the loot progression system worked. So, I decided to do some homework and figure it out. And I did just that. The new loop progression system works in tiers, starting from tier zero and working all the way up to tier number three. The tier system is tied directly to your game stage. So at game stage one through 11, you will be on loop progression stage zero. At game stage 12 through 49, you are on tier one. On game stage 50 to 90, you'll be on tier two. And once you reach game stage 91, you will be on loop progression tier three. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate exactly what you get out of each tiers. What does that mean? Tier zero, tier one, tier two, tier three, all that fun stuff. We are going to discuss that in depth today. So we're going to start with tier zero. So as you can see, my game stage is level one. That puts me into tier zero. Now at tier zero, all you're gonna be able to find is primitive items, primitive tools, weapons, armor. So how exactly am I going to demonstrate the loot progression? Well, as you see, I've got four boxes here, one for each tier, tier zero, tier one, two, and three. And behind me, I've got a shotgun messiah. This is that really new, awesome shotgun messiah that has the uh, big fight in the back where all the zombies come, come and attack you. The loot's right out in the open. Uh, it's really cool. I'll show you here in a second once we get inside. What I'm going to do, currently, I am at game stage one. So we're going to go in. We're going to loot the main loot out of this shotgun messiah. I'm going to throw that loot in here. Then I'm going to progress to game stage tier two. So we'll get our game stage up to at least 12. Then we'll go in and reset the POI, do the exact same thing. And we're gonna do that for all the tiers. And I'm gonna show you what you can expect loot wise from each tier as we, as we progress. So let's get started. Let's get in there and let's loot this shotgun messiah at tier zero. So these, this is what, exactly what we're gonna loot. We're gonna loot, loot the three crates, the one hardened chest and the ammo, large ammo pile. That's all we're gonna loot. This should be able to demonstrate exactly what loot you can get at each tier or give you a good general idea of what uh, what loot you can expect. Now, because this is random, these crates are not always going to be the same. For instance, this time we got two gun store boxes and a shamway box. It, it may change as we go along, uh, but the loot in the hardened chest the loot table for this is the same every single time, although the loot will increase as we go up in tiers. So this is tier zero, level one game stage. Start with the ammo pile. Now, one thing I will mention, ammo does not seem to be affected by the tier levels. You will find ammo as well as mods at any tier. So the, the ammunition is not really affected by the loot progression system. So we've got uh, some 9 mil, some 7.62, some shotgun, some blunderbuss, and a mod. All right, let's check the boxes in the gun store box. We've got, ooh, very nice, an er ergonomic grip mod. In this gun store box here, we've got scrap helmet and a wooden club. That is a primitive weapon and the lowest tier heavy armor in the game. And the Shamway box, some sham and some sham sandwiches. And the big boy, what do we got in here? All right, awesome. So we got a couple of schematics. That's very nice. We've got uh, some ammunition and you'll notice the armor that we got. Scrap gloves, that's the lowest tier heavy gloves in the game. We've got padded chest armor. That is the lowest tier light armor in the game. And padded gloves, again, lowest tier light armor in the game. So let's go ahead and grab all of that. Let's head back out to our chest, put this stuff away and let's do tier number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we are on game stage 30. That pushes us up into tier one. So we should be getting some better loot this time around. I went ahead and reset Shotgun Messiah. We're gonna get in there and loot up the same stuff again and see what we get. All right, so this time around, again, we got two gun store boxes and we got another Shamway box, very good. 
So, on tier level one loot, we should be getting some basic iron items and as well as possibly a few firearms like a pistol or double barrel shotgun, that kind of stuff should start spawning at tier level one. But let's take a look and let's see what we get. Ammo pile, we've got some ammo and some mods, about par for the course. Gun store box, we've got a tier three blundy boy, okay. In this one, we've got some, so we're starting to get higher tier items. Not, um, nothing like wowing me, nothing spectacular, but we are up to tier four steel spear, tier three scrap helmet. We got some sham and let's see what is in the hardened chest. Okay, so as you see, instead of tier two stuff, we're starting to get tier five padded armor. We are getting a, uh, a lot better. It's still primitive stuff, but it is a lot better quality. It's higher, higher level. So we're getting, instead of tier two, we're getting tier five. So you can see the progression go up. Now, we are supposed to be able to loot stuff like pistols and double barrel shotguns, uh, as well as some of the higher tier uh, armors and, and, and that kind of stuff, like iron, iron tools, iron armor, leather armor for light armor, and basic weapons. However, keep in mind that Seven Days to Die still uses a random number generator to generate the loot. So even though our game stage is up, we do have a chance to get all, some of the better stuff. It is not guaranteed. So while it does open up some better stuff as you increase, the actual percentage chance is still pretty low at tier one. You are getting better primitive stuff, as you can see. Higher chance to get better quality primitive, very low chance to get some of the iron. So let's go ahead and grab all of this. I'm gonna get my game stage back up into tier number two, and we're gonna do this all again. Be back in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we are game stage 75. So right kind of smack dab in the middle of tier two here. So we're gonna go inside, loot the same containers and see exactly what we get at tier two. Now tier two opens up the possibility of getting some of the best melee weapons and some mid-tier firearms like the pump shotgun is opened up at tier two. Now again, you have a low chance to get those items, but a higher chance to get some of the previous tier items. So let's go see if that plays out. Let's go loot these containers and see what we got. Okay, so we've got our two gun store boxes. Once again, we got a shamway box, hardened chest, and our ammo pile. Let's start off with the ammo pile. Okay, so we got a good amount of ammo. We got a nice triple storage pocket mod. That's very nice. In the gun store box, we've got parts. In this gun store box, we've got, oh, look at this. So we've got leather boots and a military vest. Very nice, very low tier military vest, but that is actually tier three light armor. Very low quality, but it is there. So as you can see, our loot is progressing as we increase our game stage. Shamway box. That's not really gonna change much with game stage. All right, what do we got with the hardened chest? Oh, baby. <laughs> we got very lucky with this loot. Oh, man, so we've got some iron knuckles. We've got a hunting knife, some good sellables. But look at this, we got a steel club, tier three steel club. That is insane. That is awesome. That is actually a very, very good roll for this crate. Steel club is the tier three melee weapon. It's, it's top tier. But again, as I said, you can get the best melee weapons at this tier uh, and some mid-level firearms. So getting a steel club just demonstrates how the loot progression actually, actually works. At tier two, you can see that we're starting to get some of the best melee weapons in the game. We're also getting, we've got the hunting knife here that uh, we haven't been able to get before parts and some some good sellables. I mean, four diamonds, that's pretty sweet. So we'll go ahead and we'll take all this and we'll throw it in our tier two box. Then it's time for the big boy. We gotta get our game stage over 90. I think I'm gonna push it up to about 100 and we're gonna see what we get at tier three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are game stage 100. Very nice. Game stage 100, we are now well into tier three. So I've reset the POI broken into all the items. Let's get in there and let's see what we get at tier three. All right, so once again, we've got two gun store boxes, a shamway crate, hardened chest, and the ammo pile. 
Let's search up the ammo pile and see what we got. And look at this, we got a pump shotgun in the ammo pile. Now pump shotgun is a low chance at tier two, but you'll be seeing a lot more of them once you get a, your game stage over 91. Plus you'll be getting some of the top tier items as well. But finding a pump shotgun in an ammo pile, that is awesome. Gun store box number one, what do we got? Parts, <laughs> this box always has parts. Gun store box number two, we've got some parts and a mod. Okay, Shamway box. All right, we got a potato and a beer. And now the hardened chest, what do we got? Oh yeah, baby, so we got an even better pump shotgun. We got a steel helmet, lots of ammo, lots of sellables, parts, ammunition, very, very nice. So now that we've looted at every single tier, let's go ahead and take a look at our haul. So at tier zero, you'll notice we got some ammunition, which you get at every single tier, no matter what. But as far as weapons and armor, we are only getting low level primitive gear. So tier two padded, padded gloves and chest armor, that's the lowest tier light armor. We've got tier two scrap gloves and scrap helmet. That's the lowest tier heavy armor. We got ourselves a wooden club, which is a primitive weapon. So at tier zero, all you're gonna be getting is low level primitive gear. At tier one, you'll notice those loot started to get a little bit better. We were getting higher level. Now we were still getting pretty much mainly primitive and that's to be expected. Tier one opens up the possibility of getting better stuff like possibly some better firearms or next level armor. So like iron armor or leather armor or possibly a pistol or double barrel shotgun, but it is not guaranteed. It's still a very low level chance. Remember, once again, Seven Days to Die uses a random number generator and each level of loot has a percentage chance to actually spawn in the loot container. As you increase your game stage, that chance increases as well. So you will notice that we, yes, we were still pretty much getting a lot of primitive gear, but instead of level two, we are starting to get level five, got some level four scrap leg armor, got a level three blunderbuss instead of all the level twos. So the loot is progressing and getting a little bit better. Take a look at our tier two box and you'll notice tier two, a big, huge jump. At tier two, it opens up the possibility of getting the best melee weapons you can i.e. the steel club, which we were lucky enough to get. Again, it's all random, and there is a percentage chance of getting the really good loot. We just got a really lucky roll when we looted this bad boy. But you'll notice we started getting leather, leather items. That's the uh, mid-tier light armor. And then we also got a very low-level military vest, which is the tier three light armor. So yes, the loot is indeed getting better as you go along. Plus we got uh, diamonds and lots of sellables as well. Very, very good loot at tier two. And last but not least, tier three. Now you'll notice in tier three, we actually got a couple of pump shotguns. We also got steel helmet. Steel is the best heavy armor in the game. Also got a lot of sellables, some mods and some ammunition. But this just goes to demonstrate that the loot does progress and does get better as you increase your game stage. In a previous video, I had discussed the eye candy. Unfortunately, I was not exactly sure how the eye candy worked. Now that I have a better understanding of loot progression, I can explain the eye candy a little bit better for you folks. So you'll notice there are two sections here that say loot bonus. There's a loot bonus of plus five and a loot bonus of plus 10%. The first line here, plus five, just gives you straight up plus five to your loot progression. So for us right now, if we were to take this eye candy, it would push our loot progression to 105. The second line says loot bonus plus 10%. This would increase our loot bonus stage an additional 10 points, because right now, our game stage is 100. 10% 10 of 100 is 10. So the, right now the eye candy gives us a loot bonus boost of plus 15. Now this can be very confusing and it confused me uh, quite honestly for quite a while. I was like, why do they have two separate lines? It doesn't make much sense. Well, it makes perfect sense now that we know how the loot progression system works. Remember, tier zero is game stage one to 11. So if they just gave you plus 10%, 
and you only have a game stage of one, the eye candy does absolutely nothing. It's worthless. However, because they have this automatic plus five, it will guarantee that no matter what level your game stage is at, you will see a boost in your loot progression. So let's say that our game stage was level 10. Game stage tier zero is one to 11. So technically we'd still be in tier zero, but we go ahead and chow down on some eye candy. That gives us plus five automatically, and then also plus 10%. So that would be a boost of plus six, pushing us to a game stage or a loot stage of 16. That would push us into tier one, giving us the ability to get better loot. So the reason the Fun Pimps added the two lines was to guarantee that no matter what your game stage is, you will always see a boost to your loot when you use the eye candy. And I have to say it one more time. I know I've been repeating myself a lot here, but the loot is not guaranteed. It just opens up the possibility of getting the better tier loot. You still have to get a little bit of luck on your side with that random number generator. And one more thing that can alter your loot progression or your loot stage is, of course, Lucky Looter. Unfortunately, Lucky Looter does only give you a base percentage increase. So early on, believe it or not, Lucky Looter does not do much for you besides letting you loot a little bit faster. Adding 5% loot bonus to your low level character is not going to do much for you. If you're game stage one and you get an extra 5%, you're still going to be game stage one. You're still going to be loot level one. 5% of 1 is 0 0.05, so your loot stage would be 1.05, which in the game's eyes is just 1. Until you actually start increasing your game stage, Lucky Looter is not the best perk to take. Later on in the game, however, it can be fabulous. If you get this bad boy all the way up to level 5, you are going to be looting 80% faster, which is like insta-loot, it's awesome but it also adds a 25% bonus to your loot stage. So right now we're game stage 100. This would automatically take our game stage or our loot stage up to 125. So later in the game, Lucky Looter is great. Early in the game, Lucky Looter is crap. Save your points for something else until you get your game stage a little bit higher. That way that percentage boost will actually do something for you. The new loot progression system in Seven Days to Die is interesting, to say the least. As you increase your game stage, you will also increase the quality of loot that you will get from lootable containers. Opening up a new tier does not guarantee that you'll be getting the items available at that tier. It just gives you the chance to get the items at that tier. For instance, tier one loot opens up the possibility, again, possibility of getting iron tools, iron armor, and low level firearms like the pistol or the double barrel shotgun. But I have to mention it again, seven days to die generates loot with a random number generator. So you'll have a chance to get that stuff, but it is not guaranteed. And as you increase, through the different tiers, the loot's just going to continue to get better and better. And loot progression is indeed tagged directly to game stage. I hope you folks have found this video helpful. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss any of our tutorial videos. Speaking of which, if you want to catch up on the tutorial videos we've released so far, go ahead and click that playlist in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in Savin's World. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.